Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Premeducation. Today, we're talking all things summer break. As you all know, pre-med students are very well known for making great use of their summers. Some people go on vacation, relax, take two steps back from school, and while all of those things are great, and I encourage you to still do them, there are also a lot of cool things that you can do over the summer to strengthen your application for medical school and also expose you to a lot of new and interesting things. But before we get in too deep, I think that we should switch up the scenery a little bit. We spend a lot of time in this office. This is cozier. Let's talk about some things that you all can do during your summer. That's about three months of time, lots of time, where you can get done a lot of different things to strengthen your application. First things first, depending on where you're at in the cycle, it's always a good idea to think about studying for the MCAT during your summer break. I won't talk about this too, too much, simply because I don't want to get into the nitty gritty of study plans and things like that. But nonetheless, you should definitely think about using that time. I know when I was planning to take the MCAT, I was pretty ambitious and tried to take it during the spring semester of my junior year. In hindsight, I would have totally waited for the summer and dedicated all of my summer time to studying for the MCAT. That's what I ended up doing anyways, because my spring classes got a little bit ahead of me and I saw the summer as a way better opportunity to focus on studying for the MCAT and get the best score possible. Next, you can think about shadowing. This is something that you can definitely do during the semester as well, but a lot of students dedicate entire summers to just shadowing several different doctors, whether that's in their hometown or at the location of their college or university. It's a great opportunity to get involved, demonstrate your commitment to medicine, and demonstrate that you know what you're getting yourself into. I encourage you to shadow across a variety of different fields that will really help open your eyes and hopefully pique your interest in a specialty you might want to study down the road. Another thing you can think about is participating in a summer research program. There are tons and tons and tons of these located at colleges, universities, and medical schools across the country. My college, the University of Rochester, has one that I did the summer after my sophomore year. There are ones all over the place. The majority of them operate on a traditional format. You'll go spend the summer someplace, they'll give you a stipend, housing, assign you to a research mentor, and you'll get a great opportunity to delve into a research project that they either assign or one that you choose for yourself. These programs can be a bit challenging to get into at times, depending on which ones you apply to. Some of them have smaller cohorts than others. For example, the one that I was in, there were only about 10 of us. Other programs go up to 20 or 30. It really depends on the school. When you apply, be sure to spread out your net kind of wide. Be open to the idea of living in a new place for the summer, especially if they're going to provide you with housing and a stipend. This was a great opportunity for me to figure out if I liked basic science research. Prior to my summer and a research program, I did the surf program at the University of Rochester. Prior to that, I had never worked in a lab with pipettes and mice and things like that. While it was a great experience, I learned a lot. I met a lot of really awesome people. I have yet to go back to basic science research. I ran back to clinical research very quickly, but that's okay. I had a great experience, got to put something on my resume, and I know for certain that that's not the path for me. I much more prefer clinical research. We have a visitor. Come on. Come on. Here he is. Here he is. Say hi. Okay, you leaving? There we go. Next up on the list is volunteering. This can be done once again all throughout your college years, whether you're in the semester or in the summer, but utilizing your summers to get done a lot of volunteer work is a great opportunity. This works out kind of nice because as long as you're not working a more traditional nine to five job, you might be able to find really unique volunteer opportunities that operate largely in the daytime. Whereas during the semester, you're filled with class and extracurriculars and you don't have as much time to catch those really unique opportunities. The summertime is where I worked at a summer camp in my hometown and where I started volunteering more in the deaf community, doing things during the day that I might not have had an opportunity to do during the semester. So if you're interested, start planning routes now. Most summer programs and summer plans are starting to get formulated right now, these days. Applications are open, volunteer places are looking for students, so start to peek around and see what you can find. 
Next is one that I tried to do several summers in a row, but never got around to it, whether it was my finances or the credits just didn't line up, but you can always take summer classes. And depending on where you go to school, you might be offered discounts for taking classes in the summer. At least that's how it works at my college. So I was very intrigued by the idea of taking summer classes and maybe finishing my degree program early, having a semester in my senior year where I took very few classes or all fun classes. That was always something going in the back of my mind. Uh, I know a lot of my classmates took advantage of it. They really enjoyed their summer classes. It never worked out for me, but I would strongly encourage it if that's something you're interested in. For also for students who maybe want to retry taking a class, say you didn't do the best in Orgo or you really want to give bio another try and improve your grade, the summer is a great time to do that. Next up, thinking a little bit outside the box here, but you can create your own research opportunities. Nobody says that you have to go the traditional route of being in a research program or getting a research focused position in a lab. You can make your own research, do some community based work, find a mentor at a college or university nearby, or simply make your own survey, distribute it using a Google Doc, and assess some need in your community and then try to fill that gap in a traditional summer amount of time. There are tons of opportunities for you to get creative. Nobody says you have to do this the way that everybody else does. Something that I wish I had done more in my summers off is take two steps back and really dig deep into things that were missing in my community. There were a lot of jobs and opportunities already existing, but I wish I had gotten a little bit more creative and maybe built a different type of summer program for the kids in my town or brought more opportunities for the kids in my town to be exposed to medicine, some things that I wish I had had when I was there. Trust me, if you do something like this, medical schools and really anybody in general will be impressed by this. Another thing you can do in your summers, and definitely during your semesters as well, is join a pre-health organization. And by this, I don't mean a club on your campus. There are oftentimes community-based organizations of physicians, of people in medicine, of students interested in medicine, where you can get involved and find other like-minded individuals. When I was a lot younger, my mom put me in a similar program like I was just mentioning, and it was largely kids pretty young, and it was a medical explorers program where we just got together once a month, were exposed to a new field of medicine, had some lunch, and then went home. Granted, that's the younger version of what I'm imagining now, but there's definitely programs or professional groups that you can join in the summer to get a little bit more exposure. Lastly, the one thing that you can definitely do over the summer is explore something new. I'm talking about nothing required no need to be impressive or anything like that. It doesn't even have to be related to medicine. Just try something new. Use your summer and explore a brand new hobby that you can take into the next year with you. One of my closest friends from college always made a commitment every year to pick some new hobby. And they used that mentality throughout all four years of college and they picked up four incredible new hobbies that they dug into with full force every single year. And I thought that was such a great way to approach college and your summers, your semesters in general. So if you have an opportunity, try to find something new, new hobby to explore. For me, this past summer, I jumped into boxing. One of the best decisions I ever made. Um, I love boxing and I hope to continue doing it more. That wraps up this video. Thank you again so much for watching. Best of luck in any of the applications or projects that you're putting together for the summer. Always keep an eye out for the blog posts that accompany these videos and you can find those on ProspectiveDoctor.com and keep an eye out for my next video with med school code.